Hello everyone, my name is Carlos Trevisan. I'm a freshman at USF. My major is computer science and I'm from Brazil. Uh, I'm Anuj, I'm also a freshman at USF. Um, my major is computer science. Uh, I'm from Northern Virginia. And then our other two team members are Mazin and uh, Henrique. They're also a freshman at USF. And then Tanisha, she's not here today, but she's also one of our team members. Yeah. Uh, after these two long days, almost two, right? <laughs> we are, I'm here to oh, present to you, Thank you our platform Mental Solutions. As you can tell by the name, it is a platform that is really going to revolutionize mental health treatment. So first of all, uh, you may ask me, why did I choose this topic? Why not an engineering problem or logistics problem that's much more interesting? Because your health is important. And we got to work on it. Uh, as we are programmers, we have a high tendency of facing mental issues, just, such as burnout, right? Who never felt that? We got to help ourselves. That's why we created our platform, which is, is going to evaluate your feelings and store that and interpret that in a way that your doctor will have a deeper knowledge about you. So um, kind of going into like the general overview of like how our bot works. So we use Cognix to essentially outline how, you, how the bot interfaces with potential mental health patients. So it asks about their mood at a current moment and what might have prompted that. Um, so I think if we go to the next slide. Um, Essentially, like, the idea is first it starts out broad and then eventually specializes uh, using, based on the user response. And I think we're going to have a demonstration and we're going to see exactly how it works. But first, so, uh, for the actual chatbot, we use Cognix.ai um, and we use a React plugin to essentially have the user interface with it on the web application. Um, and we intend to integrate Gembonds as a text and voice uh, interface, but that's going to have to be uh, further development as we continue to develop this. Uh, on the back end, essentially the idea is um, the user responses get stored into a, to a MongoDB database. So we use Node.js to essentially output the user responses uh, with our AI to a MongoDB database. And essentially the potential therapist reviews their responses to assess how best to treat them as a patient. And uh, we intend to host on Heroku, but for now, we just use the local host. Yeah. Um, so I think this uh, cognizant, and we're going to show development soon. Oh, yeah. Um, this is like an example of like how the data would be outputted to MongoDB. Uh, so essentially, like the user inputs and responses, and you'll see that. And it goes to the MongoDB database. So. So here's our main page, and I'm gonna start to talk with our AI. I'm gonna say hi to it. Do you want me to? Yeah. No, I, I'm fine, I'm fine. Uh, yes, it is my first time doing this. Okay, several questions will appear to me, and I have to be honest with my feelings. All right, my name is Carlos. <laughs> I'm 18 years old, and right now I'm fearful, maybe. <laughs> I'm kind of insecure. <laughs> uh, do you want to go deeper, deeper with how you're feeling right now? Um, I am nervous about speaking in public. <laughs> oh, yeah, I want to go deeper. <laughs> Sorry about that. We are working on it. <laughs> yeah. uh, thanks for sharing, we appreciate it. And now, uh, it supposedly the data would go to the database and then we could show this to uh, my therapist, our psychologist. So in the next consult, 
he would have a better understanding about what, what I'm feeling and what I'm going through. That's our project. Um, do we got a Q&A session? Or? Um, you, you can have five minutes for Q&A, yeah. Go ahead. Does anyone have a question? <laughs> If you guys have questions, then you can raise your hand. I can bring you the mic. Any suggestions right. to our board? You can suggest. Is that a question? Yeah. Oh, cool. uh, I was curious. You, you mentioned that uh, you used MongoDB. In what ways were you planning on using that? So essentially, the idea is the user responsive to the chatbot uh, using our REST API. They're responsive to output it to MongoDB. And um, a part of our project we didn't fully develop uh, it's just a React table that holds the responses for the therapist to refer to, uh, like just to kind of get a pre-session overview of how they're feeling. All right, any other questions? Sure. Uh, so how are you ensuring the HIPAA compliance? Compliance, healthcare compliance is a serious thing, so how are you ensuring that? Um, I don't think we really thought about that. You kind of went like, I guess like, by healthcare compliance, what do you kind of mean? Like the HIPAA standard, I guess. Ah, uh, okay. HIPAA standard. Yeah, well, that's not something we thought about. <laughs> <laughs> Any other questions? Go ahead and raise your hand if so. So with any product that where you ask the user to input information on their own, there's the, if there's the, um, uh, possibility that they could incorrect things, you know, spelling errors and so forth. How would you be able to mitigate that with your products uh, to keep it from being mapped to the wrong responses? Actually, Cogni, Cogni, which is one of the tools of one of the sponsors of this hackathon, uh, with the conversational AI that they provide, they can handle these different inputs. Like for example, I did a, a very bad mistake because it was a yes or no answer. But for example, uh, that, que that last question, if I wanted to go deeper into what I was feeling, I could answer like, of course, and then the, the bot would understand it. And also like, uh, if I didn't know what I was feeling, the bot can also like try to understand with some keywords that it has. All right, anyone else? Cool, we'll give them a big round of applause.